Yes, out in the tropics, that is actually the purpose of, or one of the main purposes of a hurricane is to take the heat from the equatorial region and distribute it toward the poles. And we are getting a lot of heat and that's only going to increase with Saharan dust across the region. That's gonna limit that tropical activity. And so we're not really tracking much in the way of activity with all of that Saharan dust across the main development region. We do have subtropical depression Don hanging out kind of there in the central Atlantic. No impacts to land wind speeds right now about 35 miles per hour, but you can see there's another large plume of Saharan dust making its way across the Atlantic and we're still dealing with our first plume of Saharan dust, right? So another plume is expected as we look ahead to next week. We'll continue to see some of that dust with us throughout the upcoming week. So you may notice those allergy like symptoms, vibrant sunrises and sunsets, the reds in the sky, hazy skies, and then one big note that we were discussing is that the Saharan dust does suppress tropical activity. It looks like we may see a slight break from some of the haziness on Friday, but heading into the weekend and especially into next week, that may be when we start to see that secondary plume arriving. If you are headed out on our water today in the coastal bend, we'll see breezy conditions making it choppy in the bays. Low rip current risk at the beach. Water temperature at the beach actually feels rather refreshing and cool because there's a lot of mixing going on with our waves, but winds a little bit lighter today and tomorrow waves won't be too high. Bob Hall Pier 702 is high tide, so we'll see the tide lowering throughout the day. Barbie John Thomas. Okay, thank you, Carly.